Bitcoin has been in this painful sideways trading range for quite some time now, but I really am expecting volatility to return to the market here fairly soon. Uh, just to show you a couple areas that I'm currently watching for is I think that there may be some sort of uh, pennant forming or a bit of a triangle. This does look a little more ascending than descending to me. Uh, it just looks like the upward sloping support is a little more aggressive than the downward sloping resistance, but obviously we're going to have to see what happens. Uh, you guys know I love to see at least three touch points on a trend line before it breaks. Uh, so ideally what I would like to see is a third touch point, some sort of a pullback, uh, close back above, and then find that support to break us out of this range and then find some sort of support to carry on to the upside. Um, I, I would love to see that. Obviously that doesn't have to happen. Uh, there is some bearish divergences on some time frames and that sort of thing so there is a few things to be cautious of um, but yeah this is one little pattern that I'm going to have my eye on this is an hourly chart here um, uh, another uh, I guess even more micro time frame because you guys know I love my dgen time frame so if I were to pick something out something like that on the hourly I mean see that's where we're starting uh, obviously this is a very uh, <laughs> short time frame here to be coiling up a pattern like this uh, but just really uh, over analyzing this here we do technically have uh, I'm gonna say that uh, I believe that's a touch point there I can adjust this line very slightly Lately. Um, yeah, I would say that those are three valid touch points. So I would love to see that resist uh, flip into support at some point. If we could break above this, get some sort of retest. I think it makes sense that we would get a third touch point on this uh, pendant. Uh, like like I've said, I don't really consider this valid right now until I have my third perfect touch point. I, even if there's failed breaks and stuff, I, I uh, lose a lot of confidence in the pattern. I'm very specific when I am looking for certain trend lines. I like to see those exact touch points. So it's all theoretical at this point. Just something I'm watching for. If we do break to the downside, I think it makes sense that we would retest the bottom of this range, much like if we, uh, even if we break out bullish, I mean, I, I would love to see a measured move from, let's say, wherever we break out from. Um, that would be kind of, you know, between that 30 and $32,000 range, which is obviously kind of smack dab in the middle of some very serious resistance. So that could make a lot of sense. Uh, but obviously we would still, even if we broke out of this, we would have to see how we uh, react to that horizontal resistance. Maybe we get some sort of a failed break or even uh, maybe we have a bit of an upward sloping channel. That's another thing to watch for, because if we break to the upside, a lot of people might think we're going to get that measured move all the way up there. But in reality, we might just be getting a third touch point of, uh, I guess, just a slightly different range sort of a thing. So just a few things to watch out for there. Overall, I still really think that there is more upside to be seen from Bitcoin. And I'm not saying that that has to be right away here, but I think the chart is in a very good situation. Even if we do pull back, um, I, I really do think the structure of this chart has changed just since we, uh, I, I say this every video lately, we had our low and our lower low. So this was the level I was interested in breaking above. And I mean, that weekly candle closed way above. That just looks great to me. Like I said, the, absolutely, there could be some downside volatility. Maybe we even retest these lows, but um, obviously there's a lot of what ifs between now and then. So as it stands right now, I'm loving what I see in the charts. Uh, I would love to see this resistance flip into support. Uh, but yeah, basically what I'm getting at is uh, I, I know a lot of people are very focused on this resistance at this level, and that's totally valid, you guys. That is a very serious level of support uh, before when we were trading in this range here. Uh, and I mean, it only makes sense that that support could definitely uh, flip into resistance. That would be perfect technical analysis. Um, but just going to previous bear markets and the fact that, um, you know, we uh, broke above this structure here. Uh, this just kind of it's really reminding me of this level uh, back when we were uh, basically getting back up to our support in of this uh, bear market here the first half of the bear market we found that descending triangle there broke to the downside everyone at these levels myself included were uh, very skeptical that we were going to rally anymore it just seemed like we were going to flip that support into resistance and obviously yeah we traded there for about a month or so and then just absolutely blasted through 
And I mean, if you look at what the chart looks like right now, that's a very similar looking chart. Um, just a similar pattern that we had basically right there. So, I mean, it, we might just be get, uh, consolidating against resistance rather than getting a harsh rejection. Um, if this was going to be a super significant level of resistance, I, I'm kind of thinking that people would have panicked by now and the price would have actually sold off. So um, I don't know. I, I've been very vocal in past videos that I, I do strongly believe, and obviously this doesn't have to happen. None of this is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, all that good stuff. Don't be a total degen like myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, every bear market rally previously, and I mean, this might be one of those things, maybe too many people are looking at it now. Um, I know I've been eyeing that up for quite some time that we always, in previous bear markets, that's kind of where the bear market rally gets stopped. Um, you can see even back here, uh, when we retested that 618 here, um, even that, it doesn't look like much, but I mean, that was a 40% pullback, so very significant. And you can see that whenever we end up getting a weekly candle close above that level, we just go absolutely parabolic. It happened there, um, it happened here as well. So that's kind of what I would be eyeing up as far as like a new parabolic bull market. I don't think we're there yet, uh, but I really do think that uh, we are going to get some kind of a bull trap. But I, I know a lot of people have been thinking this entire rally has been that bull trap. I, I just have a gut feeling that it's going to be a lot higher than a lot of people are thinking. The market loves to go until people can't hang on to their emotions anymore. And once those uh, bears start seeing that we're getting close to 50K, they want to jump in before Bitcoin has its all-time high blue sky breakout. So people start FOMOing in at this level, get absolutely wrecked. And that's where we end up kind of reclaiming this box that everyone's thinking will be resistance. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to actually get rejected much higher and we're going to come back down and hopefully flip that level back into support. I think in that case, Bitcoin would be in a great position um, to then push it higher to the above the 618. And you guys know my thoughts on that. When that happens, I think it's full on parabolic run on. But uh, obviously anything can happen, and I don't think that's going to be a right away thing. I, I really, I, I'm kind of thinking in the next three months we kind of see some of these higher levels that I've been talking about. Um, so, I mean, it's going to take time to play out. This is a weekly chart, so no surprises there. But um, yeah, I, I really do think that bear, uh, that bull trap is going to be higher than a lot of people are expecting. And even though Bitcoin's been boring, I mean, a lot of altcoins have been going absolutely nuts. Um, if you're a part of the uh, MDX Crypto's VIP Discord uh, with these indicators and all that good stuff, he also shares some of his altcoins. And I know this was one of his picks. He's very vocal about this on Twitter and stuff. So uh, this is Ultra. It, it uh, has a gaming platform launching right away, if I'm not mistaken. But but um, yeah, uh, got an absolutely beautiful breakout of this trend line I was watching on the daily there. So, uh, And then Swarm, <laughs> this one was an absolutely ridiculous call. It just absolutely blew up. I can't remember exactly where the boys in the group were getting in. I think it was somewhere back here. And I mean, that wick that we had the other day, that's a massive gain there, over 400%. Obviously, when things are that parabolic, things come crashing down hard. So, I mean, these low cap coins are so volatile. I mean, even though it pumped 400%, it also dumped 60% right after. So, uh, very exciting stuff in the altcoin market, even though Bitcoin's trading sideways. Uh, but you guys know that's kind of something that I've been vocal about on my channel too, is uh, when Bitcoin has gone nuts and it has made a bunch of gains and then it just trades sideways, which it's been doing for quite some time here. Uh, that's when you start watching the altcoin market and, and uh, things start popping off there. So always something to consider there. Um, let's just check out a couple other things. Oh, another thing with the MDX Elgo 3 indicator here, we have this market flow. I don't know if you can see this faint gray line, but it took a very steep curl to the upside, and that just kind of shows the general uh, flow of the market. So that's something that can provide good support on a larger time frame like this. Uh, something to be a little cautious of 
would be this reversal warning. You guys know that I, I actually talk about those quite a bit, especially in my scalping strategies. Uh, quite a powerful indication there, uh, quite a powerful signal. But it is just one thing, and I'm seeing a lot of other things to contradict that. Uh, for one, I think the RSI has room to go. Uh, we're not even in the overbought territory, and things on a weekly can stay overbought for quite some time, and they can go way overbought. So I absolutely think we have room to go to the upside there. Uh, we got this little green uh, bullish continuation dot here, as well as this green money flow cloud. Uh, something that's I, I have been taking very serious because we get massive moves when this happens. Um, obviously doesn't have to happen again. This thing can flip-flop uh, absolutely just like any other indicator, but uh, money doesn't lie, and that is basically suggesting that money has been flowing into the market. Oscillator 4 up here, there was a couple bearish pivot warnings there, and they never really did uh, mount to anything. Instead, we got a hidden bullish divergence right after. We got a long signal. We have that market flow going to the upside. Uh, it kind of looks like these bands are just kind of expanding. Looks like they're breaking out, so I don't think we're necessarily topped out there either. So um, there's a lot of potential bullish signs that there is room to go to the upside. So I'm hanging on to my cautiously bullish <laughs> outlook for now. Uh, obviously, scalping totally different uh which is how i mostly trade so i'm not trading based just off my weekly chart here by any means but um yeah just a few things that i like to keep in the back of my mind because it's easy to get caught up in uh feeling like we're overextended we have to dump to the downside but when you really zoom out um there's just potential you have to be aware of all scenarios here there's warnings in both directions so you just gotta um <laughs> Have your head on a swivel, as they say, and uh, just keep your emotions at bay. And um, yeah, other than that, guys, um, that's just a few things I wanted to point out to you guys really quick today. If you appreciated this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, good luck with your trades, everybody. Stay safe, my friends. Peace. Ooh.